Hey guys, welcome to this latest unboxing video. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, 512 gigabyte midnight green. I do have to admit before I open it, I have in fact opened it previously because I purchased this phone through Smartone, a cellular company in Hong Kong, and I'm able to pay this back within 24 month uh, installment as part of my uh, phone contract. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the box. So there's the box. You've got the three camera lens and it's a midnight green. Box is black and it's 512 gigabytes, as you can see. Let's open up the box. After I bought the phone, I bought a screen protector to protect the glass. And I always buy that every time I get a new phone. I never want to risk uh, breaking this by smashing the glass on the floor or what have you. I even got a cheap case because I figured like if you can see the green back, it would be nice once you get a new phone to just invest in a cheap cover so you can see the color. Problem is, um, if I went and bought a black cover, you wouldn't be able to see that color. So oh, I've just turned it on. So that's the phone. Now just put that aside. We'll just put that down there just for a moment. Uh, that's the receipt for the phone. So you get the pin for opening up the SIM card tray. Power off an SOS in different languages. Just put all that aside. You get your usual earphones. They are lightning, as always. The difference now, I believe that you get an 18 watt charger in the box by default. And it's a fast charger because it has a USB Type-C connector, which also means you get a USB Type-C charging cable and a data cable. In the past, you only had the conventional USB, I believe it was, what was it, Type-A, the big chunky one. And now by default, it's all USB Type-C and you need that if you want to fast charge. I do have several of these cables lying around um, but that, this should have been done a long time ago, so I'm glad they finally did it sooner, better, later than never. So how does it open? This is the UK, these are the UK prongs. So you just flip it, jam that in there. I'm not going to plug this into anything, but uh, just to give you the idea. And just jam that down like that. And of course I can set this thing up. So what I would do is I would just, um, same as always, iOS 13. So we just uh, punch in the region, punch in all the settings as normal. So I'm in Hong Kong and it comes with iOS 13 by default. Okay, I can uh, put in my Wi-Fi, so just bear with me. I'm just going to punch in the password. Just for intents and purposes, I'm going to set this up like a new phone. Later on, I'm going to restore my previous phone settings uh, into this phone. So while this is setting up, all right, that's fine. Data and privacy, uh, we'll do the face ID later. Um, and I'll just punch in a passcode, just give us a moment. I'm doing this off the camera. All right, so I have a choice. I can restore from iCloud backup. I can use my Mac or PC to just restore the entire profile from a previous phone to this phone. I can move data from Android, which I'm not going to do. 
uh, or I could just set it up as a new um, phone. Okay, and I can just punch in my um, Apple ID. For intents and purposes, I'm not going to use my Apple ID, I'll just... Alright, yep, that's fine. I message and FaceTime, All right? Just go through all the wizards. Uh, we'll set up Siri later. Screen time, uh, okay, we'll set that up later. Uh, don't share. I've never been good with True Tone. I find it so weird to use. You can have light and dark, two different modes. I mean, dark is nice, but overall, I prefer light. Display zoom, I'll just go with standard. You can use whatever you want. And there we go. Okay, sorry, let's just, just punch in the code. Okay, we're back in. I'm really intrigued by this camera, so why don't we give it a spin? So if we go to settings, and we go to, um, let's see, where do we go? Camera. So this one. And we can record the video. So by default, 1080p HD at 30 frames per second. I like to go with 4K at 30 frames. Um, so let's just give it a spin. So if we use the camera, okay. Right, so if I just, if we just do that. If I uh, take an object, like a piece of a super glue tube or something, and I could do a two time zoom one time and I believe that's the telephoto lens you can zoom out like this so you can zoom in zoom out just like that wow what about video let's let's take a look at I think you have to swipe up okay so video so I can record and I can Zoom in and zoom out. The zoom out's pretty cool, I have to admit. Yeah, That is good if you want to zoom out and you don't have to walk too far back. That is very, very useful. Okay, now let's get out of this. Can I play the video back? Let's try. Okay, yep. sorry. A... So I can zoom in and zoom out. The zoom out's pretty cool, I have to admit. Yeah. That is good if you want to zoom out and you don't have to walk too far back. That is very... Great. Well, this is a pretty brief video. Uh, naturally, I'm going to be playing with this and I'm going to be experimenting somewhat a little more with the uh, new iPhone 11 Plus... Sorry, <laughs> iPhone 11 Pro Max. Got to get, I've got to get used to that, <laughs> that name. <laughs> anyway, there you go. There's the phone. Couldn't be happier. Thank you so much and see you later. Thank you and goodbye.